Well, folks, here is the original Xbox in action. I got the 120 gigabyte hard drive completely all set up. So now I got, let's see, a little over, let's see, close to 100 megabytes free. Give or take a few. It's a little bit more than that. It's just the calculations on there. Or maybe it's less than that. Of course, the time and date is wrong on there. I'm playing on getting an internal Wi-Fi card, so I get the time and date from the um, from my house automatically. And that's not the other thing that I also that I patched up on here. Well, here's the original hard drive. I'm going to be doing some series of tests on here to make sure the hard drive is not completely broken. Maybe I should have unlocked the hard drive first. Oh well. Same password anyway. Let's go ahead and open up the drive here. Yep, it actually opens this time. You can see, I greased up the gear. Or the spin, the teeth here. On the CD drive. Maybe we can see it, right? I also put some right there inside the gear there. That connects to the eject mechanism. Eject mechanism contains the belt. I'm sorry, the motor right there. And then there's a little pulley. And there are a couple of other gears in there too. But the main gear is this one right here that really needs to get greased up. Yeah, you use some white lithium grease to spray it down. And... Surprisingly, it worked pretty good. The only thing I forgot to was the... Of course, the notification just went off. The only thing I didn't lubricate was that it's sinking here. Down here. So now, the seizure opens and closes without a problem. So it's an another successful hard drive upgrade and a successful... Um... CD drive repair. So now I'm going to go pull out the other original Xbox 1.6B and fix that DVD and fix that DVD drive. Might as well do that right now since they have it. Since they have the phone on me. I need to charge this phone soon because the battery is about to go. Thing always starts quick. Putting it upside down because I always lose a stupid fee in the sky. I have. Another Xbox, my first Xbox, I have no feet on there. So, I gotta go get, uh, source some feet for the original system, for my system here. Yeah, I can just make our, oh, hang on, that's the 1.0. Oh. Don't comment about the mess in the background, please. Here's my Xbox. Plug in the power cable. Plug in the cable for the monitor. Monitor TV. There's my 1.6 Xbox. Serial AT hard drive. Sorry. Yeah, South State drive. 480 gigabytes of raw po of power storage. I also have my Leech X on here. And it's, it's a 4x3 for some reason. I wonder why it's doing that. One thing I wish the uh, hard or the only thing I wish the time it would save uh, would be on the hard drive. But no. It's only saved when you have it turned on and plugged in the power. Oh, I'm sorry. Plugged in the power, turned on, save the same date. Let's go ahead and grease this. Okay. So let's go ahead and. Do this a couple times here. Close it. Here, open it. See what happens. I really need to get figure why that thing's buzzing all the time. 
It does it every single time we try to put it. I put it this one here pretty closely. Yeah, it's probably normal. Wear and tear. Look at that. It's probably trying to engage the uh, laser. Laser works fine. Good. Open it again. I think the eject mechanism more is starting to go. So I gotta replace it at some time. And it's making the gurgling noise. Let's go ahead and do it again. Since 2006, according to this little sticker. Well, actually, I didn't even put that in there. <laughs> so that's been repaired. The two repair years, and I gotta go put some more grease on there because it's a little bit jumpy there. Mechanism again. So I know the system is not too terrible. Not too terrible. Like I said, I gotta get some more grease on there, but it does open and close without a problem now, so there you go. go figure why this one's locked at four by three. I think it's because it didn't have it set right. But let me take a look at that real quick. Let's see. Settings. Green calibration, no. System. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Where are you? It's probably not even on here. Evil BGM. Big. It's around here somewhere. Sound and audio. Green calibration. Maybe that's it. Oops. Okay, there we go. That looks better. Apparently, I'll set the 4x3 mode for some reason. Alright, I'm gonna launch the game here. Actually, I haven't been stuck right there. Anyway, let's go ahead and actually launch the game and see how fast it loads. It'll probably load pretty darn fast. Or not. See, this is my 1.6 Xbox. My one I've had for years. It's clean. That's a 4 by 3 Just because. Why not? There you go. And that's all there is to it.